simple addition using the earthly and the heavenly beads this time. All right, now you've mastered addition using only the earthly beads. We're going to start using our heavenly beads. Now, if you remember, and I'm sure you do, that the earthly beads are only, use, only worth one, and the heavenly beads are worth five. And so the most that we can have in any column at any one time is nine. So we're going to do simple addition using using both the heavenly and the earthly beads. So here we go. Let's just dive into it. All right, let's do 2 plus 5. Well, if these are worth 1, here's 2. And remember, since a bead only gets counted when it's moved towards this beam, 2 plus 5 looks like this. And what number do I have? Well, if you got really used to counting on your abacus, you'll know just by looking at it, that that is the number seven. Two plus five is seven, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do something pretty simple. We'll do one more easy one, okay? One, one plus five, one plus five, wow. Easy as that. We slide a 1 up and a 5 down, and there is our number 6. Five, 1 plus 5 is 6. Because we look at that, because you're, you've, been, you've, been you've been carrying your abacus around and just counting with it all day long, and just showing all your friends that you have an abacus, and they, they look at you and say, uh, an abba what? And you, you've been looking at it all day long and just saying, and so you can just look at this at this point and just say, oh, that's the number six. I don't even have to think twice about it. That's the number six. All right, so let's do another one. Okay, here we go. A little bit trickier. Let, let's take it up a notch, okay? One plus six. There we go. Start with the number one. And to add six, we know what a six is. So we, ha we have to use two beads. So... We slide the five down and one up here because both a five and a one make six, right? We know that. So a five and a one all added together. What's that number using your abacus brain? A seven. One plus six is seven. Now I know you can do that in your head, but I want you to get your head used to the abacus method. Okay, let's do another one. Two plus seven. Well, there's two, and I know a seven requires a five and a two. There it is, nine. All right, let's get a little bit more tricky. Four plus five. There's four plus five. Well, I guess that wasn't more tricky. That was just kind of different. So four plus five, what is that? We can just look at that because our abacus brain just knows it. That's nine. Four and, four and five is nine. Four and five, nine. All right, here we go. Let's do a couple more before I set you loose on your worksheet. Clear it. Three plus six. Three plus six. A five and a one makes six. There it is. Nine again. One more. So let's just, let's do five plus two. Five plus two. Five plus two is seven. There we go. So that's that's basic addition, a really simple addition, using both the heavenly and the earthly beads. You got to think just a little bit more because you're you're working with fives and ones instead of just ones. But it's a piece of cake. If you really practice your counting, here we go. So at this point, go and print off your worksheet and work through the problems on there. And I know you're, you're so smart. Your mom told me so that you could do these all in your head. But the main point at this point is not to figure out the problem, but to get used to moving the beads around on the abacus. So just getting used, getting used to it, getting comfortable with say, looking at the numbers and saying, oh, 2 plus 5, not just knowing it in your head, but you ain't been able to see it on your calculator 
<laughs> on your calculator, on your abacus, and knowing what it is and just getting used to moving the beads. So go print off that practice sheet and work through it.